Good morning, everyone. We're going to get started. Welcome to Boot Dusseldorf for the Raymarine and Prestige live stream event. Uh, once again, thanks for being here. We are streaming this uh, over the web uh, to our colleagues outside of the show. Uh, I'll get started. My name is Jim Hans. I'm the Director of Marketing for FLIR and Raymarine. And I just wanted to talk a little bit about FLIR and Raymarine uh, and our mission and our vision. So first off, what is the vision? What's the vision of FLIR and Raymarine? And that, we, we call ourselves the world's sixth sense. And what that means is we're revolutionizing human perception. That is our, that's our vision. And so what's our mission? What, what propels us forward? And that is to innovate technologies that increase awareness and, and human perception. Um, and we do this so we, our users can make informed decisions Incision, uh, decisions that save lives and livelihoods. So how does, that, how does that, that vision, saving livelihoods, how does that translate to Ray Marine? A lot of you know us as a uh, recreational marine company. We, we are a leader in recreational marine electronics. Uh, but we're also laser focused on helping professionals in the maritime space. So a lot of our, our solutions that we build uh, for our Axiom platform and our Lighthouse 3 platform, we, we build in technologies and capabilities to support professionals and first responders. And by evidence of that, we've, you know, we've recently become the supplier of choice to the United States Coast Guard. Um, going forward, our electronics will be on over 2,000 U.S. Coast Guard vessels. So saving lives, very important element uh, to, our, to our mission. And then saving livelihoods, that's a pretty strong statement. Um, it's a statement that we, ha we, we live by a FLIR, but how does that translate to recreational marine and to raymarine? And what that means is we're making, our mission is to make boaters' time on the water safer and more enjoyable. So now I'm just gonna talk a little bit about some of the technologies at, fl at FLIR at raymarine um, that make uh, what we're gonna unveil today possible. So first off, I think as a lot of you may know, FLIR is thermal. Um, we are the world leader in maritime thermal. We turn night into day with our thermal camera technologies. But we we're, we're also go beyond thermal, and we also uh, make visible cameras. So what you're seeing here, this is actually a stereo camera that's used in industrial applications. Uh, this particular one can actually be used in a retail space to count people. Um, very valuable information. So this is what we call machine vision. And, and not just cameras, we make solutions for our cameras, both visible and thermal. Uh, and one of that is video analytics. Um, a great example of that is in, the, in, uh, in Raymarine and with FLIR Maritime is a technology we call Clear Cruise IR, where we can actually detect objects on the water using the thermal camera uh, to help our, our customers avoid them. We're also into some other uh, exciting technologies, and one is UAV imaging. So it's a very important category for us. Uh, we build, actually, this is what you're seeing there up on the screen is a small uh, UAV for military applications. Uh, we also make solutions for industrial applications and for safety and search and rescue. And we're also leading the way on developing thermal solutions for driverless cars. I mean, that is the, um, you know, that industry is going very fast, and so we believe thermal is going to play an integral part in the future of autonomous vehicles. And in addition to that, we've also, uh, and this is a recent, well, not too recent innovation, but we are, uh, innovate with uh, our motion sensing technologies, and we've taken aerospace motion sensing technology, and we've brought it down, and we've brought it into our autopilot product line. What does that do? It helps, us, uh, helps our autopilots understand the position of the vessel in every dimension. And it's led us to deliver an autopilot that virtually doesn't need calibration. That's our evolution. So just some of the technologies and the, and the groundwork that we have at FLIR and Raymarine. A little closer to home uh, on the Raymarine side, I'll just give a little recap of some of the technologies. And first, and that is our Axiom line. Uh, we launched it in 2017. It's, it's been a uh, huge success and uh, it's received an, a lot of awards. Um, and then we've also this, just previously increased the size in line with our Axiom XL. So now we have a full MFD <coughs> solution 
down from a seven inch right up to a 24 inch, all powered by our very intuitive and simple Lighthouse 3 operating system. And some of the things that, that are exciting about the Axiom line too is our ability, what we're doing here is we're trying to help voters make smarter decisions. And to do that, we've launched a technology we call Clear Cruise Augmented Reality. Uh, we launched this uh, back in the fall of 2018. Uh, it was immediately ga uh, gained a, a few awards um, and a lot of excitement in the industry. And what we're doing with Clear Cruise Augmented Reality is we're taking a high definition thermal, uh, excuse me, high definition visible camera, and we're stabilizing the imagery and projecting it up onto a multifunction display. We take that imagery and then we overlay navigation data. So things like AIS targets, in this example we're actually seeing a buoy pulled from the electronic chart. So we can see buoys, we can see waypoints, and again, AIS targets. So you use that, combine it with our other navigation technologies like radar and the chart, and you really elevate the awareness of the boater and just make the whole boating experience a lot simpler. It's a great application for boaters that may be uh, visiting a new destination that they haven't been to before, and this really helps uh, correlate what you're seeing on the electronic chart with the real world. So that's Clear Cruise Augmented Reality. I mentioned UAV uh, imaging. We've brought that into Raymarine as well. Uh, using our Lighthouse operating system, we've launched Axiom UAV. So now Axiom can integrate with a consumer drone, the DJI Mavic Pro. You can control and view the drone right on the MFD. And with the Axiom platform and our Lighthouse 3 operating system, we really want to keep, have our customers be uh, both entertained and connected. So how do we do that? We do it with what we call Lighthouse apps. And this really helps us expand the power of the Axiom and the Lighthouse 3 operating system. So we can bring in entertainment apps like Netflix and Spotify, but we can also partner uh, with um, other marine technologies like SeaKeeper, LumaShore, and then we can also keep our customers connected with um, things like Mazu Satellite Communication or Thayer Grib Weather. Um, so really, uh, what's exciting about this platform is it's expandable. And when we bring in partners, we can, we can even uh, expand the platform even more. And so today, we're really excited to be able to expand and offer a new solution with a partner, and that's Prestige Yachts. So with that, I'm going to give the microphone over to Eric Stromberg. Thanks. As you know, uh, Prestige is really the leader uh, in the uh, motor dot segment uh, going up uh, from uh, 30 up to uh, 75 feet. Uh, we've been growing uh, very well over the last uh, 30 years. Uh, this uh, market leadership has been uh, based basically on a concentration of uh, bringing to the, uh, the market uh, family-oriented uh, boats that are easy to use, uh, very much focused, again, on the owner-operator segment uh, of, the, of the market. We have also been very focused on uh, making the uh, boating environment, bringing people in the brand, making everything much more accessible. Uh, and that is one of the core values of Prestige and of our uh, marine group. We've also wanted to, in that uh, goal of making things more accessible, remove the stress uh, and anxieties that go along uh, with boating to make it simpler uh, to maneuver, simpler to maintain, uh, simpler to enjoy the time out on the water. And at Prestige, we also have a, a history of, of innovation, uh, whether that be some of the pod drive systems and so forth we've done in the past, interior layouts and materials. But our, our vision of innovation is a little bit different than, than others. Our, our idea of innovation is that the innovation has to be useful. It has to fit some criteria in the market. It has to meet the demand of our customers. So innovation for us is important but it has to have uh, a real added value uh, to the customer. When you talk about uh, uh, docking, uh, it's, a, it's an age-old problem. We've suffered through uh, docking uh, for centuries. I think everybody here in the room has a, a horror story about docking. I, I've voted with some of you, and I know we've, we did it together. Um, my, my, uh, on, on my end, in terms of docking, my docking abilities are usually uh, proportional to the amount of people who are watching me at any particular time. All my, all my best docking maneuvers have been done uh, completely alone with no witnesses. Uh, but the minute I'm in front of a crowd, you, you've, you've all seen me do it. And uh, so it is, uh, it is something that remains, uh, it remains uh, stressful. 
when we look at the, um, the trends in the market today, of course, the, the marinas are not getting any bigger, uh, but the boats are. Uh, we're trying to make uh, uh, boats that are easier and easier to use, um, and uh, we want to be able to bring technology to the market that will give people the ability to, to easily use their boats, to dock their boats, to maneuver their boats, to give them that extra level of uh, confidence. Obviously, technologies have been introduced over the last 10, 15, 20 years that have allowed maneuvering to be more simple, thrusters, uh, joysticks, uh, pod drives, uh, now technologies like uh, innovative outboard products and so forth allow for a lot more maneuverability than what we had uh, in the past. Um, but we really saw that to take this next step from the simple maneuvering systems that are in place today uh, to look at, into the future, that we needed to work on two key areas of development uh, to help the boater. The first was to enhance the situational awareness around the boat. So for somebody anywhere on the boat to be able to see objects, uh, to be able to see and you cannot really uh, avoid what you can't see, so really to give them that situational awareness. And the second one was to bring on board some innovative technologies, uh, some of the artificial intelligence, some of the processing capability, in order to give uh, people the information to make the right decisions, and if not, that the system would help them uh, make those decisions uh, along the way. Obviously, with our historical uh, link to uh, Raymarine, Raymarine has been uh, with the Prestige from, since the very beginning. So over our 30-year history, they have been a key development partner in everything that we've done on board the boat. Uh, so it was a natural thing for us to turn to Raymarine uh, to uh, help us look at this very age-old problem. And of course, when we uh, went to Raymarine, we found very quickly that they, have, they had also spotted this uh, trend in the market. They wanted to follow uh, this movement, lead the movement uh, towards uh, coming up with a solution uh, for docking. We have to remember this is, again, something that is a century-old problem that we don't today. We've never had uh, a solution uh, like you'll see here today. Um, so it was a very important partnership. Raymarine was looking for a, a development partner to move into the real-world application and the real-world testing of the technology that they had in mind. So I could say that the rest is uh, history, or maybe I'll say the rest is the future. Uh, but it, is, uh, it did fall, to, uh, this heavy task of developing this did fall to uh, Chris Jones from uh, Raymarine. He and his team took this challenge uh, of uh, docking uh, and making boating uh, simpler and uh, put together the technology here that he will, uh, he will show to you. Uh, so it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Chris Jones from Raymarine. Thank you. Thank you, Eric. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Chris Jones, part of the product management uh, group at uh, Raymarine, and I'll take you through the technology for uh, assisted uh, docking. So the, the challenge, as Eric has already uh, said, the challenge of docking a boat is quite uh, a task uh, for a lot of people. Well, we know that boats are getting uh, bigger. Uh, we know that people are spending less time in the water, but we want to make that time on the water as stress-free and as enjoyable as, uh, as possible. So the challenge. Docking is a stressful uh, activity. You know, if you don't have anybody watching you, it's easy. If you have lots of people watching you, it's extremely difficult. And that's when accidents uh, happen. Space is tight. Marinas are getting uh, smaller. Um, boys are in the, uh, the way. Pilings are in the, uh, the way. Vision on a boat is quite limited. You don't see right the way around your boat from the, uh, the helm. Uh, adding wind and tide into the equation makes things even more difficult. Even for an experienced boater, at times, <coughs> items are, are challenging in terms of getting uh, a boat into uh, a dock. And unfortunately, accidents do happen. And Raymarine wants to prevent those accidents and just make boating more pleasurable to everybody. So what's the solution? We want to make docking simple. Simple and easy, stress-free. We want to prevent uh, collisions in all circumstances, or the vast majority of circumstances. And we want to com compensate for the environment. Take that factor of wind and tide out of the equation 
for the captain of a, uh, a boat. Sounds very, very simple, doesn't it? It's not. So, I'm pleased to uh, announce Raymarine's Docsent, uh, the first true docking uh, system in the industry. This is, and it really is an industry uh, first. Uh, we've designed a system that integrates with joystick uh, systems that are installed on, uh, on boats. We use the technology that uh, Jim described in terms of uh, a platform. We've taken that platform and adapted it to a marine environment. And then what we're doing with that platform is sensing objects around uh, the, uh, the boat. We create what's called a virtual bumper, a protective zone around your, uh, your boat. It senses uh, objects such as docks, pilings, and uh, um, objects that are floating uh, in the water uh, around your boat. It intelligently then analyzes uh, the, uh, the data that we collect and uh, applies um, corrective actions to the steering system and the throttle uh, commands to prevent that collision. We assist the captain in terms of his docking uh, maneuver. I'd just like to show you a little um, video that we've created that tries to explain what we're trying to, uh, to achieve uh, with uh, assisted uh, docking. We create a bumper around the, the boat using our, uh, our uh, camera technology. We maneuver the boat, or the, I should I say the captain maneuvers the boat, but when the boat comes close to an object, the system takes over some of the control of the, uh, the boat, slows the boat down until it uh, becomes uh, stationary and prevents that collision. And that system is 360 degrees around the boat. So our advanced uh, monitoring uh, um, has several key technologies uh, in it. GPS and uh, pitch and roll uh, sensing uh, technologies have been taken from our evolution uh, system, adapted, and we can very accurately sense where the boat is, where it's heading, what its uh, speed actually uh, is. On top of that, we compensate for wind and tide. So if uh, the captain uh, removes um, propulsion from the joystick, the system will take over and hold the boat uh, where it uh, is. So no longer does the boat continue to, uh, to move with uh, environmental uh, factors. The marine uh, vision system that, again, Jim talked about, we're taking a stereo camera that's installed on the, uh, the boat. Um, we've marinized it. We've made it suitable for the uh, environment. We're sensing a 3D world around uh, the, uh, the boat. The technology sounds simple, but there's a lot of data to, uh, to process. We, we've put in uh, patents uh, to eliminate uh, the, the noise of the water surface, because it isn't a flat uh, surface, and the sun's reflection. The sun's reflection, obviously, is captured by the, uh, the cameras, and we dampen that uh, down and try and eliminate it. Each camera has a built-in um, uh, device in terms of sensing where the, uh, the camera uh, is, uh, is pointing and its motion. And then, as I said, there is a series of cameras installed around a boat to be able to see 360 uh, degrees and protect the boat from all angles. So this just shows a representation of what the actual camera is, uh, is seeing. It's seeing in a 3D uh, world uh, objects that are both uh, on the water and above the water. We're taking uh, that uh, data, stripping out the, uh, the water plane, sensing what's above the, uh, the data, uh, above the, uh, the water, and then preventing uh, the boat from colliding uh, with it. There's a lot of data 
that is being processed at, uh, at one time from five or so cameras. The system itself, in terms of installation, first of all, on uh, a prestige uh, boat, we've been doing a lot of uh, trialing. Uh, we have a rear-facing uh, camera to protect the, uh, the stern, um, a port and uh, starboard uh, camera to protect the side of the boat, and then um, we have two cameras on the, uh, the bow. They all feed into a processing uh, system, as well as the, the position and the movement of the, uh, the boat, and then we feed that signal out to the joystick uh, system. Sounds easy. So the captain's view. Obviously, this is a very complicated uh, uh, maneuver. Uh, and there's, uh, as I said, a lot of processing that uh, is going uh, on. Dock sense needs to be made simple to the, uh, the captain. Uh, we have an image here where we represent uh, uh, the boat. We paint a, uh, a bumper around the boat. The boat is moving into a, uh, a dock. And you can see there is a representation both of the, the thrust of the boat and the rotation of the boat. Overlaid on the, uh, the side are uh, images that come out of the, uh, the camera, live stream images, so the captain of the boat can see all the way uh, around as he's docking. He gets a far better view of what's going on than he's ever done. So we must make the interface simple. Our mantra always with uh, Lighthouse 3 is to take a complex solution and make it extremely simple. Simplify it down so anybody can come on the boat and understand what is, uh, is going on. We want the captain still to be in control of the boat and enjoy his experience. But we do want to in, uh, avoid those embarrassing uh, bumps and, uh, and knocks. So, that's all fine, in theory. I'd just like you to watch a little video that we've made that shows the ease of uh, uh, assisted uh, docking. Uh, and obviously, it's an extremely uh, uh, nice location. But just watch the story as it builds. Introducing Raymarine DockSense. Maneuver tight quarters with assisted docking technology. Avoid collisions with virtual bumper. Avoid bumps with propulsion system integration. Dock with confidence. Dock with DockSense. A little bit of fun, but it really demonstrates uh, how easy it is and how Dock sense will help the, uh, the captain maneuver uh, the boat. So in summary, dock sense really is there to revolutionize the boating industry, to take that last difficult element out of boating and make it uh, simple. It takes a highly complicated, stressful situation and simplifies it and then alleviates that stress of, uh, of docking. Gives the captain control, allows the uh, end user to enjoy boating, but allows him to easily dock his, uh, his boat. And with that, I thank you for the, listening to uh, our presentation. There is lots of information on raymarine.com, our, uh, our website,
But thank you uh, again for, uh, for watching, and uh, we'll end the, the presentation now. Thank you.